sorry about the lighting. It's 1.30 in the morning. We're here at Big Mike's Pond or the Voodoo Model Boat Club where they're hosting the 2022 IMPBA Gas Nationals. It's an RC boat race. If you like little two-stroke motors, you guys are gonna love this. It's looking to be a pretty nice sunrise, so let's go check it out. Oh, isn't this awesome, bro? It looks like you Amazing, could just take right? it apart and it'd be a boat. <laughs> Put an outboard on it? Yeah. Ronnie King down there, he vacuums this trailer. He brings it back in. You nuts? Will you go do my grass? <laughs> I'll do anything. Massages. <laughs> oh, man, man. You're all right, man. I'll do anything, Steve. And you snuck in there. What's up, man? Crawled in last night. Just, I was changing my ice bags, not peach. Ah, good. <laughs> I was definitely concerned about that being an issue. That's a pretty one. That's me and these. Did that race last year? No. This is the first year they let yeah. it run. Oh, okay. Super boat. Well, yeah, it did race last year. It was, it was white, though, when you were here. Oh, okay. It had the I green remember, stripe. Yeah. Now Randy's painted it. So. See, this is what a boat looks like that's raced here. Unless that's paint. Is that paint? No, nah, that's mud. <laughs> I was going to say, it can't be. <laughs> and, I, and I tested it. I, I tested it three, four times, and the mud still hasn't come off. You'll be surprised.
This year's Gas Nationals is hosted by the Voodoo Model Boat Club in southern Louisiana at Big Mike's Pond. The IMPBA, or the International Model Power Boat Association, is a non-profit organization that was started in 1949 by a dedicated group of model boat enthusiasts. They created the organization to foster to model power boat building and to encourage and assist in the formation of clubs. They provide a uniform set of rules for racing and records. Although the IMPBA operates primarily in the U.S. and Canada, they have a District 14 and a District 21 to establish a consistent set of rules outside of the U.S. and Canada. With this race being their gas nationals, the only thing you're going to see hit in the water are small two-stroke motors in today's video. But they do run electric and nitro events as well. Now even if you don't live in the south, you're in luck because the IMPBA moves their races throughout different groups in the country every year. The gas nationals this year just happen to be hosted down south. Anytime a race is hosted by Voodoo, you get that southern hospitality. Great food, friendly faces, and builders willing to help each other out when someone has an issue. But don't think it's not competitive, because the moment they hit the water, the gloves come off. Like many hobbies, you'll find that this one is a labor of love, with nearly every boat you're seeing being handcrafted from the ground up. Most of these boats are built from scratch, and even the ones that come in as a kit can still have beautiful paintwork and precisely tuned motors. I don't know who it belongs to. Boat! Alright, baby. Anybody? Nope. Free boat. Oh, free boat. <laughs> Throughout the event, you'll find many different holes hitting the water from monos, thunderboats, cracker boxes, jersey skiffs, my personal favorite, the outboard tunnels, superboats, catamarans, single and twin riggers, and on that note, some of these boats even run dual motors. Each one of them is a work of art. Over 27, they must be live, but you can't use live. Oh, wait, just... <laughs> my bad, I thought this was the fishing tournament. <laughs> anyway, hey, welcome everybody. I am PBA 2022 Gas Nationals. Let's ride this dog. We had some fun. Remember, remember, we are here to have fun, damn it, and fun you will have. <laughs> Jesse, you want to give some, some technical data? Technical data, technical data. All right, guys, I am PBA. We'll be running a two-minute start clock here. Two minutes. And we got a spectator coming up the front driver. straight away. Another driver wanted to, to come into the race. Oh, look at that. All right, 50 points apiece on your buoy cuts, on any of the buoy cuts from the Oval Force. I've hit one a couple times down in Florida, and I'll tell you. They tear up. They tear up your boat. And they don't seem to mind a bit. No. All right, your offshore buoys are lap penalties. All right, so the guy that's coming around hot on the outside, you have to maintain your lane through the first turn. Wherever you pass the start, you can't go pinching everybody off. Don't think you're going to, that the guys that are going slow are, are not going to catch you right here because they're going to catch you, dude. These boats accelerate from zero to, to wide open in no time. Good. The alligator is now a buoy. I suggest going around that. He'll be, he'll be gone very shortly. Excuse me, guys, before you leave, I just have one thing. We're trying to raise some money for the Moon Club here. So down south we have an animal petting zoo. And we have one for you to pet. We're taking a dollar per person to pet. Any takers? I tell you what, the first one can go free. The first guy can go ahead and do it for free. Hold up. The first, the first and only person that ever did that is Lefty. And as you see, But we do appreciate the money that Lefty raised for us. <laughs> you want to With the average race fielding between five and six boats, each driver is forced to deal with the wake and turbulence of their competitors. Still, you'll often see boats reaching an average speed of 50 to 70 miles an hour depending on class. 
these twin riggers are different animals altogether. Although not the absolute fastest boats you'll see on the water, their heavy weight, size, and dual strong motors allow them to carry their momentum through the wake and rooster tail of the competition, easily allowing them to hold an average speed of 80 to 90 miles an hour during a race. They tend to be more stable than smaller classes, punching through choppy conditions. I classify them as a hydro honey badger because they just don't care. The current world record holder for a twin outrigger is John Finch, who holds 105 miles an hour on a 1 16th mile straightaway at just over 2 seconds. Needless to say, this acceleration and top speed gives the chase drone a run for its money, and at some point it just gives up, watches the race, and tries to survive the chaos. Successfully tested in last year's Voodoo World Championship, the Superboats hit the water for the first time in 2022 as an official IMPBA class in the Gas Nationals. And this is exciting to see because larger boats are more favorable to watch as an audience. They use the entire square course of the pond, and they're much more pleasing to follow with the chase drone. These are another large class of boats that are very stable on the water and handle choppy conditions quite well. Their larger size and stability means that they're less likely to jump the start and more likely to finish a race because they can handle the chop. Although these are also not the fastest boats on the water, they're a joy to watch, and they can run single, twin, or inline twin motors, so they're not slow by any means. The beginning of a gas or nitro race can look a little confusing to onlookers, so I'll try to explain. Because these boats have no clutch or transmission, they're forced to keep moving once they hit the water so they don't stall the motors. The electric classes don't have to deal with this, so they start the race in a different way. Once a gas race starts, the announcer will call on the clock. This gives each driver a two minute window to start their boat, get it on the water, and claim their lanes. Although tactics for position and speed are different depending on each driver, it's a general rule of thumb that each boat needs to be behind the start line before the clock hits zero. So generally you'll see the boat start to bunch up slowly as the clock is counting down close to zero. If a boat jumps the start, passing the start line before the countdown ends, then they're forced to make an entire lap before they can officially start their race.
catamarans hit the water, you know it's going to be an exciting and aggressive race. Much like their feline counterparts, these are agile boats that are ready to pounce. They're also pretty touchy and take a considerable amount of skill to finish a race. Out in front on smooth water, the cats can reach incredible speeds, but they don't like wake, so once one cat pushes ahead, it'll become the alpha for the rest of the race. But the boats trailing the leader are not forgiving, and they'll take advantage of any opportunity that the alpha presents. These events are always a lot of fun, and it's a joy to see the creative designs that these racers come up with. And this isn't just a yearly event. The IMPBA has races all over the country at any given time. Through their website you can even find local clubs that host their own races. And whether you go gas or electric, this is a hobby that doesn't require a massive amount of investment. But be careful, because if you have access to a simple body of water, this is a hobby that's easy to get sucked into. This video only covered a small taste of what goes on at these races. There's many different boat designs, so feel free to check them out if you're interested.